M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Uniden STS100, same for the 200. If you want to write yourself a nice blank SD card like this one, look, if you look, everything has been removed from it. It's just blank, like a brand new scanner. Then this is what you do. First thing is turn it, turn the radio off, like so. Now you could plug into it, but I'm going to take the actual SD card out. Next thing, hold down the back here, just go careful and pull this tab towards you. Just squeeze, don't squeeze on the screen and just pull it gently and then the cover for the battery will come off. The battery will just lift away, remember which way round it is, you've got the three gold tabs that go on top of these three tabs, like so. And then the card, just see the, you know, the metal plate, click it up, remember the which way round it goes, look, the gold part will go like that, it folds down, so the bits that matter are at the far end, furthest away from you. Take that out and put that into your SD card adapter. I use an extension, so you just plug it in like so, make sure it's the right way round, then look to your PC. Okay, at the PC, click this yellow file at the bottom, like so, and find your SD card, which is here, USB drive D, okay? Then download this program called SD Memory Card Formatter, and once you run it, you'll be able to just type in SD card like so, and format that card, just go yes, format, yes, so you've got a nice blank card. Then you're going to need this Sentinel software to get this. Go to this link, click Sentinel here, run through, and you'll have this software, nice, simple software. Okay, now go to the cards plugged in, go at the top here to Scanner. So all the way across Scanner. Go down to the words Clear User Data. And you're not gonna see it straight away, at the bottom here, you've got a little box, click display all drives, and it's going to show your SD card that's plugged into your adapter. Now click OK. It says clear user data, click OK, then OK, and it's going to wipe it, it's going to put the files on that are needed to run, you know, the SDS 100-200. All the way through. The last thing you want to do is just load what, even though it's blank, you still need to load it to the card. So go right to scanner. And you can select these false and erase, but at the moment it's, you're just doing a blank card. You, the adding favorites or loading up, say a whole, a whole um, postcode, zip code is for a future video. So just click OK. And there you are, it's written to the card. Let's get the card and put it back into the scanner and watch it boot up. So we're back at the scanner, I'm gonna lift up carefully. These things do break easy. SD card, this way around, and then fold it. It should rest nicely. There you are, so when it's in there correctly, it will push down without any too much effort. And then just click the plate down towards you. So downwards, okay. Hopefully you can see that all right. Then get the battery. That way around, turn it so that the gold touches these three things here without dropping it like I did. Then the tabs, just put your tabs under. Squeeze, squeeze without pressing the screen. The key thing here and then clip into place stand up your device turn it on so effectively we've got a blank brand new Uniden STS100 this is what you would expect to see scan mode nothing to scan because nothing selected and if you look press the menu which is the red one Go to select scan, where is it? Set scan selection, down. Select list to monitor, there's only two in there. You can turn on the database, full database on. 
it's not going to load until you until you tell it to load something. So what you could do is go. Let's try. Let's try the postcode, the zip code. Zip, enter. Zip code for New York. One zero 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 one. Enter, and it should load that. Pretty sure that will be on that SD card. Yeah, it's loading it now. Now. This isn't really the reason for this video. This video is just to show you that how easy it is to add a blank card. But let's load New York and then you'll see how fantastic this scanner is. It doesn't take too long. Now, the other thing you can do is just enter frequencies, save them to favorites, and that will automatically create a new file called favorites, called quick favorites. So let's just let this load and you'll see how fantastic it is, and especially if you're in the USA, Canada. In the UK, we have to rely on, on you know, like loading what they call favorites, groups of channels. So at the top, you've got systems, departments, and channels. You can freeze it like this. Okay. You can even select departments. If you press it twice, it will allow you to actually change the departments. You press system twice, I think. It changes the whole. It changes the whole system. Let's do that again. Yeah, now it's changing the whole systems. Look, airports. I mean, how fantastic is that? This is why this is a very popular scanner. Now, when you are in hold mode by pressing channel, this is where you can type frequency. So I've got a node in this room. Should work. Four three four dot five five zero. Enter. And it's going to ask if it wants me to save to quick favorites. That creates an, uh, the, the sec another favorites group. I'm going to go enter. We can name it. So we just go enter. I'll just leave the name as the frequency. Enter. Okay. So now if we go back, we can press this flat line here and it starts to scan. And it will now scan my quick favorite, which is, as you can see, that. And if we go... Just quite sure it should just go to New York. No, it's going to stay on that. So we just go system, like so. No, go to hit here, select scan selection by pressing down on top, and then go select list to monitor. And look, full of database and quick favorites. That's it. So really, it should be scanning New York as well as as well as a quick favorites. Not sure why it isn't, but that's not the reason for this video. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. I realized why it wasn't scanning New York because the, the middle was highlighted. Look, we had, we pressed channel and the middle was highlighted. So it was sort of locked. You have to unhighlight all of them and then it goes back into scanning then. Bye then.